All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well on the scriptures. Salutations to all you Akim across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And um, this is going to be a quick lesson. All right, you know, we had, um, we had uh, lots of brothers in town, all right, yesterday. And, uh, you know, we went out and what was seen were the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? Okay, and they came down pretty low, man. I saw, you know, I wasn't there, but the videos <laughs> prove, prove, uh, they give me enough uh, evidence and proof that uh, what's happening is actually biblical prophecy, and this is what Esau is starting to find out, all right? This is starting to become an actual reality for him because this is what the Lord prophesied that would happen. So, Without further ado, um, this is Ezekiel 37 and 1. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And the, the bones being symbolic for us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being in a dead state. What? Not knowing who we are, not knowing what time we're living in not knowing what's to come all right but now we're seeing these things unfold why because the, the chariots are appearing right uh in front of our eyes man okay and this is how i wasn't at the the i wasn't um around to see the 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 showing of the chariots last night but i've, I've seen and they've appeared with to me and to brothers man okay in droves so this just shows you that this the ezekiel the 37 chapter us waking up us coming back to our heritage is actually coming out of the book man okay ezekiel 37 and 2 all right and we are getting the flesh and the sinews put back upon our dry bones all right to become a nation again all right ezekiel 37 and 2 Ezekiel 37 and 2 and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry all right because we were we were without this word for <laughs> a, a very long time and we were without our identity for a very long time so now the book is coming to life again we're coming back all right and the Lord through the spirit and power of Yahweh all right is putting this information the knowledge the wisdom the understanding all right back upon us all right and next lord willing through the spirit we're going to be changed okay so ezekiel 37 and 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answered oh yahweh thou knowest verse 4 again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them oh ye dry bones hear the word of yahweh and that's what's happening Okay, our people, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are hearing the words, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and now they're we're living. Okay, we're living in His sight, like He said. And um, let me get it real quick. Bear with me one second. This is uh, the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return unto Yahweh, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days, which is uh, as one day is as a thousand years to the, to the Lord, and a thousand years is one day to him. It says, after two days will he revive us. In the third day, the third thousand year, which is the time we're living in now he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight and that's what we're seeing by way of ezekiel the 37th chapter and this uh hosea the sixth chapter man prophecy being fulfilled okay verse 3 hosea 6 and 3 then shall we know if we follow on to know the lord if we continue in this work this is beautiful man if we follow on to know yahweh his going forth is prepared as the morning. That's why the, the chariots are, are appearing. 
Okay, the, there's more plagues hitting the earth. All right, there's more uh, chaos coming. Why? Because the Lord is raising his people up in the third day, as it says here in the prophecy in Hosea. All right, also in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, which I'm going to go back to. Okay, Hosea 6 and 3. Then shall we know if we follow on to know Yahweh. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. So the Lord is going to bless us. We just have to continue to push this word and continue to endure, all right, and continue to grow. All right, so I'm going to go back to Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 and 5, thus saith Yahweh, power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. What's that breath? <laughs> that breath that Adam gave, and that's the breath that's been breathed into us. All right, bear with me one second. All right, the same breath, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Shai, was breathed all right, into Adam. That same breath and spirit of knowledge and wisdom from Yahweh from on high is, has been breathed and put upon us in these last days, which is the third day, like it says in the Hosea, the sixth chapter. And also we fit the prophecy of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. OK, because we're being raised out of our graves. OK, bear with me one second. Let me grab this if I can. Let's see. Yeah. All right, this is Genesis 2. This is Genesis 2 and 7. And Yahweh, and Yahweh power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. This is when he, uh, concerning Adam. He was getting the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high from Yahweh. Which is what's happening to us via Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah in these last days, man. Okay? That is the Lord breathing into us, as spoken of in Ezekiel the 37th chapter. Alright? Genesis 2 and 7, and Yahweh power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And that is us, brothers. Okay? That is us in this time. According to, like I read, Hosea the 6th chapter and Ezekiel 37. Okay, also, uh, 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 let me get another scripture, bear, Lord willing. Bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. All right, this is Second Ezra's. Second Ezra chapter three. Second Ezra's three and one, because what does Ecclesiastes uh, nine nine say? All right, it says that there is no new thing under the sun. All right, the Lord chooses his vessels to put his spirit upon in all generations man and he gives them the breath of life which is the wisdom the knowledge and understanding from on high and we've been endowed with that power which is spiritual power because we like a brother said in dallas we know the future okay and all of these things man all right but us brothers have woken up to this truth the lord has put the bre his breath into you man his wisdom and knowledge from on high via yahweh shai man all right, which is why we say, call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Second Ezra 3 and 1. In the 30th year after the ruin of the city, I was in Babylon. Where are we, brothers? We're in Babylon the Great. And I lay troubled upon my bed, and my thoughts came up over my heart. For I saw the desolation of Zion. And we walk up, we wake up in the morning and go out into the world, and we see the desolation of our people as well. So we were like, <laughs> we're liking us to Ezra's, man. Okay? And the wealth of them that dwell at Babylon, these Edomites, these heathens, how they have the wealth, 
and our people are in hell. <laughs> We're seeing this again. All right, coming in the same stead as the prophets, man. The spirits of the, the prophets are subject to the prophets, as the scripture says. Second Ezra three, and three, and my spirit was sore moved, so that I began to speak words full of fear to the Most High, and said, "O Lord, who bears rule, thou spakest at the beginning when thou didst plant the earth, and that thyself alone." And commandest the people, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands. We are those workmanship, we are that workmanship of the Most High's hands in this time, man. The prophets, the sisters that believe, the believers, man. Alright? Yes, yeah, it's very surreal, but we are actually <laughs> fulfilling prophecy, alright, concerning the last days, man. And it's beautiful. Second Ezra. Three and five, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands, and didst breathe into him the breath of life. And that's what we've been, that's what's been put into us, brothers. And he was made living before thee. That's why all of our people, if they don't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, they are accounted as nothing because they're dead. All right, they might be partying in this world and living in luxury and still trying to make it in this world. They're still dead. We are not because <laughs> we're preparing to get up out of here seeing these chariots. All right. Feeling Satan attack us more. This means that we, it's cr the Lord is crunching in this time down, man. And we're about to get up out of here, Lord willing, man. Second Ezra 3 and 6 because we have a lot prepared for us. All right. Second Ezra 3 and 6, and thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward. So we're being led into paradise, brothers. This is beautiful, man. Okay. And unto him, talking about Adam, which is Yahweh Shai, because he is the first and the last. He is the Alpha and Omega. All right. Same spirit, but that's for another le lesson, because a lot of people still can't get reincarnation. Second Ezra 3 and 7 and unto him, all right, which is going to happen to us as well, which is happening to us as well, and unto him thou gavest to love thy way, <laughs> which is why we love and, and, and are so infatuated with this truth, man, okay, which he transgressed and immediately thou appointest death in him and his generations of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number all right and that's and, and and that's us we came out of adam man all right we're living in that last generation where the lord is going to renew israel all right by giving them this breath okay ezekiel back in ezekiel 37 all right ezekiel 37 and 6 and 5 Thus saith Yahweh power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And we just went through a bunch of scriptures, all right, describing this breath, man. And ye shall live. This is the this is the last day prophecy. So we're getting that breath again, like Adam got in the in the beginning, man. Okay, Ezekiel 37 and 6. And I will lay sinews upon you, all right, which is what's happening to us, and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. That wisdom, that knowledge, that understanding from on high to understand our predicament and our situation and what's going on. And ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. That's why we know uh, and call upon Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, because those are the living powers of heaven. That is the name of who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, man. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Ezekiel 37 and 7 So I prophesied as I was commanded And as I prophesied There was a noise and behold a shaking And the bones came together Bone to his bones And when I beheld lo the sinews And the flesh came up upon them And the skin covered them above But there was no breath in them And that's a lot of these Israelites that are waking up To the fact that they don't have the 100% truth Man Okay and the true believers that the Lord actually put his true breath in are going to see this. And we see this, man. Okay. Ezekiel 37. 
And now then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord, Power, come from the four winds, O breath. That's that knowledge from on high. And breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. And that's what's taking place, man. By way of this, pro this prophecy taking place, man. Okay. Who are we? Ezekiel 37 and 10 and 11, excuse me. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. All right. So us, all right, you're going to have a certain uh, a percentage of our people waking up in the last days, man, getting that breath. All right. Sent from on high. All right. The wisdom, the knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let me get one more scripture. Bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. This is Revelations 11 and 11. And after three days... We went through this and have the spirit of life from the most high entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them. We saw them and that's what's taking place, man. OK, that is what's taking place. The prophecies, man, we're waking up. We're standing upon our feet. OK, we're standing upon our feet. We're waking up and we're getting ready to get up out of here, Lord willing, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. And this is this is a scary sight <laughs> to Esau, man. Because they're confused as to how we woke up. The wicked elite, that is. the You comment your everyday Joe Sixpack Edomite. They don't know what's going on, man. They know that. <laughs> they, they, they can't really explain it, man. Okay. But the wicked elite, they know what time it is, man. All right, they know what this means when we wake up in the last days. As the prophecy said, all right, which shows the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All right, so Lord willing, that was edifying. I don't want to get too many scriptures to make it too long. All right, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, with Harbor and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling on the scriptures, citations to Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom, Abad, Baba.